let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o jesus through the immaculate heart of mary i offer you my prayers works joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen here are the intentions of the holy father for the month of december volunteer not for profit organizations we pray that volunteer non profit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen lord we thank you for the gift of this day we thank you for giving us this time to spend in your presence we thank you for allowing us to share all our difficulties our worries with you and as we prepare ourselves to spend this time with you lord we ask you to give us the grace we ask you to shower your blessings on us that whatever we do today may reflect your greatness may reflect your mercy and your goodness my dear friends let us now close our eyes at this moment and let us praise the lord for he has woken us this morning he has indeed given us a new day a day to remember a day to make a difference in our lives as well as in the lives of others he has given us all that we require in order to complete some things that were left behind and therefore lord we thank you for all that you have done for us all that you are doing and all that you will continue to do for us you have given us good health o lord you have kept us in your love you have always kept us under your watch under your gaze at every moment you have your gaze on us and for this o lord we thank you we praise you and we glorify you o lord you have been merciful to us you have been gracious in so many ways you have given us so many talents gifts abilities lord we thank you for the gift of our companions for the gift of friendship for the relations that we have for all the good things the experiences in life that we enjoy and lord today we offer this day to you whatever we do we place it in your hands so ultimately our actions may radiate your goodness love and mercy and lord we ask you 
to guide us so that we too may create a much better world, a world in which there is peace, joy and understanding. Lord, we thank you and we glorify you for all that you have done for us in our lives. And my dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let us now reflect on Psalm 25. The Psalm says, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. And here we see that sometimes we find it difficult to place our faith and trust in the Lord. Especially in those difficult moments where things do not go according to plan. And therefore the psalm exalts us to place our faith and trust in the Lord. Do not let me lose my trust in you. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantlessly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. And therefore, let us be open to be guided by the Lord. Let us be open to understand his ways. Let us be open in order to know what are his plans for us. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast and he keeps all those who keep his commandment and his decrees. And therefore the psalm invites us to be righteous, to be ones who follow the ways of the Lord. The psalm invites us to be open, to accept the will of God to be open to understand his ways. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who are they who fear the Lord? He will teach them the way that they should choose. Help me, Lord, to take the right path, to make the right decisions today. They will abide in the prosperity, and their children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him and he makes his covenant known to them. And therefore, if we place ourselves in the hands of the Lord, he will guide us and protect us. And my dear friends, as we spend this time with the Lord, let us reflect on this psalm. Let us try to internalize it and let us try to do something which will help us to make this psalm personal so that the psalm may take root in us and that it may help us to grow and become better individuals. So as we spend this moment in silence, reflecting and meditating on today's psalm, let us ask the Lord to lead us and guide us in the way that he has chosen for us. Prayer to Saint Michael 
the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defenders in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint jetrud prayer for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen